poppin' and I am back to do another unboxing for you guys. This time this is the Freight Crate. Um, some of the, honestly I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about this one. Um, some of the genres I didn't like in here, like, um, I think it was the House of a Thousand Maniacs, I think. I, I didn't really care too much. But there was some stuff, I can't remember all the genres that came, all the horror ones that came in here, but... You know, when it comes to horror, even if it's one thing or whatever, sometimes I'll, like, get the box. So, here we go with the January Freight Crate. It's a nice size box. It has a little bit of weight to it, so hopefully we got some good stuff in this one. In the box! <laughs> Alright. Let's find out. Let's find out. It should be a shirt in here, so that I'm, I'm kind of excited about the shirt. I love getting horror, horror boxes that have shirts in them. I don't know why. Some people that open these horror boxes, they say they don't like the shirt. Like, they could do without the shirts. They'd rather get the the autographs and the prints and stuff. But, as for me, what am I going to do with my... I mean, yeah, I like the autograph. Don't get me wrong. I like the autograph and the prints and, you know, the, the movie props and stuff. But... What are you going to really do with them? Like, save them, collect them, and, like, look at them on a wall or in a case or whatever. At least the shirts, I can wear them around, you know? I can wear this shit every day if I want. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, at least I'm getting some use out of it. That's why I like the shirts, so. My opinion. That's just my opinion. So, you know, if I'm getting something out of a box. Excuse me, my face is hidden. If I'm getting something out of a box that is useful to me, especially like daily usage, then I'm happy about it. And then if there's stuff that I don't like, I sell it. If any of y'all guys want it, or um, I, I've been selling it on eBay. Some I already sold for items for, um, yeah, for horror items on eBay already, so I'm doing pretty good over there. Because none of y'all guys seem to respond of... You know, I try to give y'all guys a heads up first, offering y'all the stuff that I don't want, but I haven't gotten any takers yet, so I put it up on eBay. Enough of that, so here we go with the pin. Okay, this is Scream. Is this the pin? I don't think this is the pin. What is this? Oh, a Scream Pop Socket. Okay, this is different. Scream pop socket. Look at that. Okay. That's cool. Right off the bat, that's pretty cool. I'm probably not going to use it. Or am I? I don't know. I'm not big on pop sockets. I mean, I know some people are, but... I'll probably end up selling this on eBay. Okay, that's one thing down. Alright, let's see. I think the pin... Yeah. Bam! Okay, what is that? The cell. Oh, crap. That was a kick-ass movie with J-Lo. This dude was psycho. Um, yeah, I am going to definitely be keeping this pin. That was a crazy-ass movie. Um, those of you who have not seen this movie, you should really see this movie, because this was, like, this would blow your mind. They had, like, some kind of machine that they bring you into, like, people's minds, and, it like, you go into, like, a dream state of mind. You know, to try to figure people out and stuff. And this one guy, this guy here was like a, a murderer or something. Like, and he kidnapped this girl and they tried to find her and stuff. So J-Lo had to go into his mind, you know, to figure out where she was hidden and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's it's really a crazy-ass movie, but it was really good. So, yeah, this, I'm going to probably end up keeping this. Alright, let's see what we got down in here. The shirt. I usually do that last. What the hell is this floating around? Boom! Okay, this is just down in the bottom of the box, which it looks like a magnet. Which, this is kick-ass overdrive. I love overdrive. Especially this, um, this, uh, this goblin. The drawing of this goblin. He's, like, so freaking wicked badass. So, yeah, I am going to be keeping this as well. It must have came out of the... Oh, yeah, I came out of the little baggie. Okay. They got some pretty good stuff. I mean, like, 
it seems like they put more stuff in this box this time than they usually do, which I'm impressed, because they usually only put, like, four things down in here. And what am I opening? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's, like, six things this time. So, um, or is it seven? Seven, they put a magazine in here. A scream magazine. Wow. Okay, they put seven items in this box this month, which that this is really impressive. So whoever got this box this month, you pretty much hit big. <laughs> um, because usually these boxes do not have up to like seven freaking items. You usually get like four, five, maybe. Even if you get like the the all out the premium box or like the director's cut boxes I like to call them um yeah this is crazy wow okay and I still got three more to go something sounds like a bell <laughs> something made a bell noise okay so that was one two three four five six seven yep seven wow okay Cheat sheet, save that for last. Okay, let's see. What was the bell one? <laughs> you hear that? What is this? A clock? It's probably like a wind up clock, alarm clock, or something. Imagine. Oh my god, I gotta see what this is. Oh, shit. It looks like a clock. Oh, a, a hotel bell. <laughs> oh, this is funny. The little table bells on the table. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll be I'll be selling this, but this is cute. Oh my god. Look, the Bates Motel. The movie prop. The Bates Motel. <laughs> uh, that is freaking funny. That is funny. I know I heard a bell. Okay, so. Yep. <laughs> this is the, the movie prop. Okay, the only one that's missing right now is a thousand maniacs. So I'm wondering if that's. If it's, um. The shirt or in that box. I forgot what is left. How is this down in here? Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be selling this. It's this cute, but I'm gonna be selling it. Some movie props I keep and some I don't. This is just a regular bell with the writing on it. So. Uh. I mean, because I don't remember, I don't know, do, do y'all remember, um, um, Psycho, the Bates Motel, if, if they had a bell that was black, I don't remember that being a black bell. Okay, this might be a bust, or it feels too light to be a bust, I don't know what it is. Let's find out what this is. Maybe it is a bust. I don't know. It kind of looks like it. Yep, it is. Alright. This is... Which, this is pretty cool. Uh, this is Big Ben. Okay. I don't know where this is from, but... Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a small bust. Of... A zombie. It's got a lot of detail in it. So, um, yeah, some of the busts I keep too, but I think I'm gonna sell this one also. I'm gonna sell this one on eBay, or unless any of y'all on here are interested and you want to give me a price. 
you know, I tell y'all guys first before I post it. Okay, and the shirt. I guess that's a thousand maniacs. Where? Yes, it is. Captain Spaulding. I see him on this side. House of one thousand. Oh, sorry, I said a maniac. I meant House of a Thousand Corpses. With um, yeah. I'm not fully gonna open it, so sorry, you guys. I'm gonna have to. Uh, this feels like a. Oh wait, this ain't a, this ain't a shirt. I think it's a pillowcase. At least we know where it's made from. Made in China. So yeah, House of a Thousand Corpses. Okay. So, um, yeah, it felt too kind of flimsy and light, and, like, the material didn't really look like a shirt. And I could see on the sides, it's, like, square. Yeah, it's the pillowcase. Alright, I'll probably be selling this, too. Uh, alright, let's see. I gotta say, this is a pretty cool box. I love the fact that there was, like, seven items in this one. Very impressive. Very impressive with Fright Crate. Fright Crate, you did awesome. You did an awesome job this month. Let's go to the cheat sheet. Let's see what was in here. Exclusive. Uh, Bates Motel Service Belt Prop Replica. Let's see, that was the, the belt. 3.5 brass hotel grade service belt inspired from the film Psycho. Custom made for Fright Crate. Place on any flat surface and summon Norman. Then it was exclusive Big Ben Minibus House. Brought to you by Serial Resin Co. An awesome piece for any fan of the film. Complete with the hand grenade that killed him. From the, from the horror movie House. I don't think I've ever seen House. I don't know. Um, oh, okay, see. Exclusive pillowcase house of 1000 corpses tribute to sid Haig, featuring some of the gang 18 by 18 inch size item made exclusively for fright crate don't you like clowns exclusive maximum overdrive sculpted magnet place it on any magnet surface or all vehicles will come alive also brought to you by cereal resin cereal resin makes some really good um some items they're very um detailed stuff Exclusive. Scream 4 Pop Socket. This versatile item can be used on your phone as a stand or a phone holder. Warning, Ghostface might make a call. Exclusive. Scream Magazine. Some hard to find issues of Scream Magazine issues number 48, 51, 53, 57, etc. Exclusive. The Cell Pin. 2 inch soft enamel pin of iconic baddie starter. The Cell. So, yeah, this is a, uh, definitely... Yep, seven. Wow, this is definitely, definitely, um, by far, a big props, big props. Two big thumbs up to to Fright Crate for this. Uh, this is was truly an amazing box. Um, for thirty dollars, shit, you cannot go wrong. I mean, well, plus tax a little over thirty, but for all this stuff, dang, yeah. Um. Okay, so it's a Fright Crate for the box, January's box. Two thumbs up on this. Even if I didn't like, fully like everything, uh, it's still two thumbs up for the fact that they loaded this box up. Um, seven items, impressive to me. Um, this is probably like the first box I've ever got seven items in it. I'm looking forward to reading that screen magazine also as well. So, um, yeah, that's about it, you guys. Until, um... My next unboxing will probably be my band box. Uh, no, I didn't get the band box. Um, what else is coming? I think that's it. Um, no, I have my comic box. I think. Okay, so anyway, I'm not. I'm not sure right now. I'm kind of like my mind's like a loss right now. Anyway, <laughs> so I haven't slept yet. So and it's like 
almost 12. So anyway, you guys, um, that's it for this video. So if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Anytime you want to be notified of a new video, just hit that post notification bell down below. And until next time, ladles. Peace.